YouTube, what's going on, guys? Gonna do a full content breakdown. Big day today, April 12th. New TA, new rank, new BR, new events, new conquest, Papa John's. Let's get into it. We'll start with the store first. Uh, these cards are still free here. These are still the same. We have new headliner, Kyle Harrison. Wow, he's buns. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll pass on this. I mean, yeah, just he's got the, Im show, the, the Imanaga problem. Like, just no pitch mixes, no outlier, nothing. I mean... W if you're a Giants fan, but uh, that's a headliners have been pretty disappointing so far this year. I think overall, new chase pack Ian Happ. We car of card we've already seen before. He's a BR legend, and I think he'll be quite good right now. Uh, I wish his discipline was swapped with his clutch rating, but I think he'll be very solid um, overall. He's got a great swing, not too crazy. I'd like to see him use new cards, build cards for the game because not oh not every card is going to just be able to be copy and pasted and have the same feel. You know what I mean? New season awards pack, drop three. Jaron Duran, who, ooh, I like this. I like this. these splits a lot. Now, on defense, his, his stuff might be a little disappointing at first glance, but 68 fielding, yeah, arm is what, but 87 reaction with 91 speed is going to play really good in left field. He's going to be really solid in left field. I promise you, it's going to surprise you. Uh, and the numbers offensively are good. I think he's actually a, quite a good card. Uh, unfortunately, he's in the pack. Um, yeah, Shane Bieber, not going to be, I, I knew this card wasn't going to be great. Just not, he, he's going to be a guy who's never going to be good in MLB The Show unless they make some serious changes to his, his overall kit, <laughs> I suppose. So a pass for me on that. 91, James McCann. Uh, as a Met fan, I almost have a little bit of PTSD, but Fitz Arenado boost, actually quite decent. Fitz Buxton as well, where he's probably better, to be honest, but fits both of those. Pretty solid little budget card there. Uh, 91, Max Mayer. Slider primary with a sinker four seam change. Very, very interesting. Wow, those pitch breaks are terrible. 51 on the four seam, whatever, but 38 on the sinker. Okay, that sinker's just there, so it won't get fined. Not bad for a 91. Someone to take a look at, but a really low K per nine, too. Tyro Estrada? Uh, he doesn't fit any boost, but has a weird build. I feel like I've seen a car like this before. Really high fielding, but a noodle. So he's a nice second baseman. Maybe third baseman, but probably not. Um, not bad. Just a really weird card. Really good clutch rating, though. Very strange card, but not an awful pack. Uh, Duran is interesting. I'll, I'll definitely keep, you know, him in the back of my mind. Uh, we covered everything in the, in the store so far. So let's move on to... We'll start with events, actually. We'll go events, BR, then ranked. So first up... Hey, we got our first rewind at eight wins. W. 89 Barry Larkin, who is absolutely horrendous. So burn this card, to be honest. He could bunt. Uh, that card's just... That's just a filler card. That's what that is. Another rewind pack. Ooh, two rewinds for different rounds. Love to see that. Or different uh, win total cards. Andrew Painter. I like this card, actually. This is like a, a, finally, we finally got a good event card, man. Four seam slider, curve, sinker, change up, 99 velo and break. Good hits per nine, good clutch. Definitely, some, definitely a reason to play events. That's a legit, a good card. I mean, that Barry Larkin, his head looks like a mighty bean. Shaped just like one, if you guys know what that is. Uh, for my old heads out there. On to BR. BR program. Let's see the golds real quick. We have AJ Minter. I, I like this card. Jesse Chavez is going to be a pick. Herman Marquez. Not bad either. Another... Dude, four pitchers. Michael Fulmer. I feel like this pitcher had different... This card had different mix. A different mix last time we saw him. Uh, these two were the guys. From in, in my opinion. I think Jesse Chavez probably more than Herman. But weird. It's only gold and diamonds? Uh, 87, Tommy Pham, 87, J.D. Martinez, look at the young blood, 87, Todd Helton, eh, Chipper Jones, oh, found the guy, ha, <laughs> found the pick, although Tommy Pham's not bad, he actually plays a quite a good outfield, and J.D. rakes, but it's, it's gonna be Chipper Jones, two diamond rounds, interesting, 90 overall, Bryce Harper, that card's gonna be fun, Danny Jansen, good one, oh, man, I found my guy. I found my guy. That's dope. Wait a minute. This. Wait a minute now. Hold on. This card's going to be good on Buxton. No, not Buxton. Uh, Arenado team. Hold on. Legit. Actually solid. The contact versus lefties would be a little bit low, but the clutch will get a boost. The contact versus righties will get plus 20 at tier three. The defense will get a plus whatever. That's awesome. And then 90 Brandon Drury. This card bangs. Don't sleep. He plays everywhere too. This card bangs for BR. Not bad at all. That's a, this is a good round. I mean, McMahon's the pick, probably. But if you want a better defensive, like, setup, you go with him. Jansen's good, too. Honestly, there's no really bad pick in this round. Uh, same thing with that. There's a millionaire pack in here. 
Ooh, okay. That's fun. More goals. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll get over to the flawless program. Ryan Braun, we've already seen this card. Ooh. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice. That bat is absolutely worth having a, a, a below average left fielder. He's honestly pretty average. He looks like a Yelich in left. This is a really solid offensive card with good quirks. And then Fernando, who was slept on for sure. I think he'll be better than people will think, especially right now um, with pitchers being dominant. And uh, that's cool. All right, that's cool. I actually like that a lot. Let's move on to ranked. Any, any changes to the rewards? There's an 89 Mike Lowell, who's a lefty killer. Honestly, there's not no troll. This is a good bench bat. Quite the elite bench bat, actually. 400 is a pack. I think that's it. Uh, 600. There's that. Vault pack at 700 again. 800, you get another headliner. World Series awards. Jacob deGrom, probably the pick. Great control, solid breaks. Outlier fastball, slider, circle change, sinker, which is crazy. And a 12-6 curve. And then there's Mike Cameron, who uh, I think is the best center fielder in the game once you get him. Very good card. Honestly, great World Series rewards. Anything change after a at 1,000 rating now or no? Nope, still a JPEG. Sad. Uh, millionaire pack again in there. Keep going. 95 Alejandro Kirk. Look how cute. He's so tiny. This card's not bad for a 95 for a program card. Really good defense. Arenado team gives him the, a power boost versus lefties and a huge contact boost versus righties and a clutch boost. I can't, he looks like a pretzel nugget, man. I can't get over that. Um, yeah, okay, there's that. Not bad, honestly. Built like a baby bell cheese. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the Team Affinity. Well, let's go to other programs first. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Team Affinity is going to have its own video, guys. It's going to have its own video. I'll glance over it real quick, but a breakdown of every card is going to be in a separate video that follows tomorrow. Jordan Westberg is Buns, 90 overall. 90 Blaze Alexander, who is makes the Buxton team, but... A BR card again. 90 overall Darno, a bunch of mid. 90 overall Justin Foscue, who's actually not terrible uh, compared to the rest of them, but still not great. And then Rono Blanco, who is just buns, bro. Terrible pitch mix. 49 break on the slider. Oh my God. No velo. Yikes, bro. Dude, the season awards drop. I'm not trying to be a hater, bro, but I'm going to hate it like a lot. It's so ass so far. The pack cards aren't really that great, but they are so much better than the free ones, man. These cards all suck. This guy's a BR demon, but he's not awful. I got to be fair. He's he's okay. Buns. Buns. What do you even do well, Jordan? I don't even know what you do well. Um, And just he might be the worst out of all of them, bro. We got Joe Random. But that's, that, that's it, though. Everything else I like so far. The monthly awards, they got whoever's doing that, the intern, you guys got to put them on something else. Just give, give them some time off, man. It's actually getting a little embarrassing. I'm sorry. I got to be honest. They're on an all-time legacy, like, losing streak. Al Leiter, control is going to be a bit of a problem, but the breaks are nasty. And I think that we're we're putting a little, maybe a little too much stock in the walks per nine being that low, only because the Velo is an 83 and he doesn't have outliers. So it's going to be not as crazy, but he'll still be very solid. I think it's hard to argue that he's going to be a top arm in the game, even with that control. You'll make it work, right? You can make that work. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything else there. It's on to Team Affinity now. I'm not going to go over every single card, but there's an extreme moment here. There's a showdown. You get vouchers from Mini Seasons, Conquest, and Showdown. I like that a lot. I guess I could show the bosses from each one of them. It's the reused Eddie Matthews we've seen for 10 years straight. Noble Meyer, love the pitch mix. Pretty solid card. Hits per nine's a little bit low, but we'll make it work. Um, yeah, I'm a little sad. Little sad boy. He's going to swing a bit of a noodle, but he could run fast. Mick Abel. Good pitch mix again. Control issues, but not bad, honestly. Joey Manass. Okay. On to uh, AL East. 93 Heston Kirstad. Uh, okay. Not terrible. Um, all right. Jason Dominguez. Jason Dominguez. Well. Wow, coincidentally, he fits the Buxton team by one point. So there's his, um, I mean, on Buxton team, he's 90 fielding, 91 speed. So that's going to be his best use. I'm going to cop this card ASAP, and he's going to dominate my Hall of Fame run, genuinely. Xavier Isaac, oh, not bad, actually. Overall, first base. And, uh, oh, this guy's back. Oh, Elvis. Not terrible. -na 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 -na. So that's AL East. We'll go to the Central. Steven Kwan. I'm, I think people might sleep on this on this card. Incredible defender in left field with good enough speed. The contacts and the vision rating and the clutch is going to be so nice uh, on higher difficulties. Someone to look out for when he gets, if you get to legend or if, you, if you're struggling with contact on Hall of Fame, check him out. Noah Schultz, 
This guy is a definite must. Four seam slider, change up, sinker, slurve, and he's six foot nine with a, like an arm slot that's like devastating. So somebody to definitely look into. This Verlander, I wipe my ass with him. Uh, no outlier, no no good pitch mix. So Alex Gordon it was sunny that day. Yeah, damn. Um, I like his cards, man. I think he's really usable, like just in general. And uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez, center field left and right, pretty good card. If it's Buxton team, where he'll be really solid, actually. Another Buxton demon. Might be the return of Buxton for a while. Uh, NL Central. Michael Bush. Ah. All right. Rob Dibble, a definite must cop. Bullpen struggling a little bit. Dibble will do the, the job right now, I think. Greg Vaughn. Buxton team demon. That's all, that's all I can say about that. And he's got the pop. Josh Bell, definitely solid. I wish he fit Arenado's team, but still very, very much usable. Um, as is. Not bad at all. Joe Torre. Ooh, I love this card. And he fits Arenado team. Where he gets... A, this card is an incredible card for that team, bro. He gets the power boost he needs. Oh, he's so good. I am... A, a 125 clutch. Absolutely, I'm picking up this card. A must. Check the TA pack at 30k points. It's a choice pack of Soul Series Breakout... Spring Breakout Pack 2 and 1. There it is. This is the expected throwback packs in the program that we were looking for so very cool love to see that that joe tory is really nice really really nice jr richard um no change up but he has a two seam he just throws four fastballs that's kind of what it comes down to outlier four seam not outlier slider someone to look uh, look uh into on higher difficulties i feel like he might be a serious problem with the slider shrinking pcis right now someone to look into but i don't know tim salmon weird splits to be honest, but um, might just work. I don't know. Jacob Wilson. I kind of like this card. I don't know why. I do, though. Daniel Vogelbach is Vogel ass, but on the Arenado team, he is an elite pinch hitter. So there's that. I mean, this card is just buns. I mean, what? Like what? Mitch Garver. Nice. Arenado team. On his own, he's good. Very solid option. A lot of cards to look into. From the AO West there. On to the NL West. Last one. Drew Jones, Buxton team demon. Not that he really needs it. But other than that, he's kind of just defensive, man. Pretty tough to hit with. Ooh, Chase Dollander. Good pitch mix. Bro, all these guys throw sinkers in five pitches. It's kind of crazy. Not bad. Man, the pitchers are really outclassing the hitters right now. Kenley Jansen, cutter slider two seam with really good break. No changeup, but definitely somebody to look into. Bullpens are, are going through it. Cycle Will Myers. He's going to be a BR demon. Secondary of second base, too. Okay. That car looks fun. His swing is so good, man. And Chili Davis, righty annihilator. And that's really about it. What a weird set of splits, man. Really bizarre. Really bizarre splits. But okay. Yeah, guys like Chili Davis won't work really as low overalls. Uh, and that's really it. So that's all I'm going to cover is that for today, guys. I'll do a full breakdown of uh, all of the TA cards and which ones I think are the best and how to approach all that stuff after a day. Let me get into it. Let me get some time under my belt with that. There is a conquest as well. There's a new, uh, the new conquests are here. There's also a uh, City Connect conquest. You get a pack and the jerseys and 1776 XP. Nice touch. Nice touch. Uh, I believe that's, I believe everything. I'm going to say I think everything is a W other than the monthly awards. I think that program looks like horseshit so far, to be honest. Their pack content has even been just slightly above average for monthly awards. Just the quality of the cards. Everything else has been dog. Just terrible. Covered everything else. That's it. That's the breakdown. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's an overall W. Good job. Good bounce back. Got some stuff to do for a while, but we got to pick up the pace and not try and leave everything into one day. It's kind of weird. I'll see you guys later. Peace.